Hello, good afternoon. Uh, it's about one o'clock on a fairly wet, actually, fairly wet day at PCSA. It's Tuesday. Um, we're in our third week being back at school. And um, as you can see today, I'm joined by some of our New Year Sevens. We had uh, 256 New Year Sevens join us just a couple of weeks ago. I've got Georgia, I've got Katie Louise, and I've got Alex with me this morning. I'm going to put them on the spot in a minute and ask them a few questions to see how they've been getting on in their first week at big school. Um, it may seem only a few months ago to these guys that they uh, applied for a place at Priory. Um, we have our open morning. We're not doing an open evening. We've got an open morning on Saturday, October the 12th. And that's when we're going to open the Sir Richard Branson Centre. That's our new SEM provision as well. But the Saturday, October 12th is a community breakfast. It's open to everybody in year six and their parents and grandparents, if they like, to come along and have a morning with us at PCSN. 11 o'clock that morning, we're going to open the Sir Richard Branson Centre. But the community morning is open from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. And I guess you have you been did you come last year to our breakfast? Yeah. yeah. All right. Have you come? Yeah. Did you have a fried breakfast? Yeah. She did. She had a fried breakfast. Okay. So that's this uh couple of weeks' time, Saturday, October the twelfth. And Mr. Pound, who's videoing this, has kindly put that along the bottom there. So that's the first thing I want to make clear to everybody. Um, please do come along year six, Saturday, October the twelfth. Now we also this term have some big events. We have a curriculum enrichment day on the 14th and the 15th of October. That's where we go out and do lots of things in the um, in the curriculum. Stop wobbling. <laughs> and um, that um, is a great day for us. We also have our annual awards evening, uh, which is on the 22nd of October, Tuesday, the 22nd of October. We go to the Winter Gardens in Western Supermare, and next week. Winners will get letters coming to them, so well done to everyone who's won an award. And I really hope these guys win an award coming the end of this year. We've got special invited guests coming along to present the awards, and it's the 22nd at the Winter Garden. So please, if you're invited, please do come along to that. And it won't seem very far ahead, but we finish term on Friday the 25th of October. I'm being told here, and we return on Monday the 4th. So that's uh, five, six weeks away, so we're really busy into term. You should have received through the post some things we hope you've received, one of which is our Parents and Carers Handbook. That should have come out this last week to you. Um, you might also have received a letter from, from me which talks about our exam results and there's also uh, quite a bit in here about um, new buildings at Priory. I've done assemblies with the students last week and explained that our roof and a completely new roof over the school and new lighting over the school and we're having our Priory Leisure Centre, our sports centre revamped and we're having a brand new techno gym fitness uh, equipment centre open to community as well and that's going to be opening in, opening in May but the roofing project end, ends in December so it's about £1.4 million pounds altogether for that on top of the Richard Branson Centre we had last year and we aim this coming year to bid for a new science block. You need a, a new science block at school. Um, our current science results are brilliant, uh, so we want to really invest in science, and we're going to try and get some money to put a new science block up. Talking of results, this year again, we are delighted to come back to record results. And as I say to the Year 7s, they think probably it's quite a long way to results. It won't be. You'll be soon be doing your GCSEs, ladies and gentlemen. You are a big school now. And uh, before they know it, they'll be in that sort of uh, exam environment. So make the most of every opportunity you've got. Your sixes, your sevens, no. And we've got our period six activities. So in a minute, I might be talking to some of these guys about period six activities. But yeah, exam results for us, we were 74% 5A to C grades, A star to C grades, up from 70% last year. Please do look at the website parts on here more detail for that we are really pleased to see English above 80% of the students getting C plus grade and maths went up from 78% to 80% C plus our students but particularly I want to note that in English 20% of the students in English got an A or an A star in RS which all our year 11s take we had 35% of students get an A or A star. 
and we had in total 44% of the cohort, 44% of them got at least three A or A stars. So that's really high level achievement. And we want them to go on to Western College um, and fulfill their dreams uh, in the future at university. Would like just to say, well, we've got our year sevens here, big thanks to the primary schools because the primary schools is where the education starts. So we thank all our local primary schools. Just going to ask Georgia, hello Georgia, which one did you go to? Beckett. Beckett, so she's been to Beckett, which, which two group are you in to now with us? Mr Stanley, 7B5. Mr Stanley, 7B5, and he's an art teacher. Do you know Mr Stanley plays Ultimate Frisbee for yeah. GB? It's true, Mr Stanley's Ultimate Frisbee. And I think you might find in period six this year, we have an Ultimate Frisbee club, which you might want to go along to, if you so wish, of course. Um, and then we've got Katie Louise. Okay, so we've Beckett. Where are you from, Katie? St. George's. Ah, this is Medley, so St. George's. So you are in whose tutor group? Uh, Miss Fitzgerald, 7B2. Okay, Miss Fitzgerald, 7B2. That's interesting because Miss Fitzgerald's one of our new English teachers because we've improved our ratio of English staff at the school this year. And um, this is an internal document called Proud of Priory. But I'm just going to read one figure from this. Um, our English department this year got 80% um, of the students, year 11, C plus grades. But the government talk about levels of progress. So they talk about students who got a level 4 at their primary school making the expected level of progress, level 4 to a C, and level 5 to an A and A star, and level 3, three levels of progress to a D, but we want them all to get C plus. The English department with three levels of progress, got 85% um, of the students three levels of progress. The national average is 67. So they're 18% above the national average. Wow. Good, isn't it? And not only that, you got cold. Not only that, uh, there are four levels of progress. 40% of our students made four levels of progress. And that's outstanding work. The national average that is... 28%. Maths was the same, 8% ahead, three levels, and 1% ahead with the four levels. So that's fantastic performance. What did you get as your SATs? Do you remember? Um, I got a four from my maths, I got a three from my reading, no, a four from my reading, and the rest was a three. Okay, so we would need, with that four, this young lady will need to fly, and you get at least a C plus, maybe a B. And you get older, but possibly, because I know what you're going to aim for, A's and A stars, aren't you, miss? Yeah. I can tell. She's going to aim for A's and A stars. So, hello. 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 What's your name? Alex. Ah, it's Alex. And what school were you from? Castle Batch. Castle Batch. So, Mr. Strawbridge. Mr. Strawbridge. I know Mr. Strawbridge was really keen to see how well the ex-Castle Batch students did. And one particular student, Joe, I think he got eight... A's and A stars, maybe a few more actually Joe got, but all of them were A and A stars, and I know he was next castle batch student, so you know, good luck to you to, to emulate that maybe. Um, so we're really pleased with the results, but we're only as good as the last set of results, so we're going to move on. Um, I would like to just note a couple more things. You should also have got a calendar through the post to parents, calendar to you, and also we do have actually three... Um, vacancies for governors so if you would like as a parent a parent governors if you would like to um, help the school and become a governor please do uh, fill that in and I'm sure we could help you if you need any more information about that so this last minute I'm going to ask all these three new students what's been their best bit of the first three weeks we've got only one minute so we're going to divide that by three of us so it's about 20 seconds each Never say. so what's been your best bit since you've joined us just getting to know different people and new friends. You made friends from different schools? Yeah. Who have you made a friend from different schools? Um, Jess. Jess. Where was she from? Do you know? I don't know. Okay, so she's made a friend with Jess. Kate okay, Louise, um, what's your best bit? Probably finding out stuff I haven't known and getting to go to different clubs. Different clubs. What are, you, are you aiming to join a club? Yeah. Which one? Drama. Drama. Going to join drama club, great school plays. And Alex, ten seconds. Uh, I'm going to. I'm done. Um, I'm happy because I've learned uh, lots of stuff already, and I've got new friends. Okay, thumbs up, ladies and gents. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>